Hi, Dave Can here with another question from the question bank in topic 11.2. We're looking at transformers and how they transmit power through them. We have an alternating supply of constant RMS current and constant RMS potential difference, or voltage. Uh, and it's connected to the primary coil of an ideal transformer. Which one of the following correctly describes the effect, if any, on the RMS current and the RMS power in the, cir excuse me, in the circuit of the secondary coil when the number of turns in the secondary coil is increased? So as we increase the number of coils in the secondary coil, how does that affect the current coming out and the power coming out? Well, we're talking about an ideal transformer. So under no conditions do we lose power. Uh, and you certainly can't gain more than 100% of the power. So there should be no change in the power. Uh, as for the current, it's going to be a little bit different. Let's first start off by talking about RMS. That's a root mean square. Uh, and it's a way to represent an alternating current or an alternating voltage or an alternating power as a single number. It is kind of like an average. Um, so we don't even need to worry about this phrase, RMS, uh, because we can just think of it as the average current or the average power, um, and we'll, we'll talk about the effect on that current. Uh, so RMS is kind of a red herring. It looks scary, but it, it doesn't affect the outcome of this analysis. Um, so what happens to the current? Well, we're going to increase the number of turns on the secondary coil, which means we're going to increase the total number of loops or the total area that's available to catch the magnetic field flowing through the secondary coil of the transformer. So basically we're increasing the flux linkage of the secondary coil. Uh, that means the the total change in flux linkage can be greater, uh, which means that the rate of change in flux linkage can be greater which means that the EMF generated in the uh, secondary coil can be greater. So in other words, increasing the coil, number of coils on one side increases the EMF produced on that side. However, we said that the power must remain the same. And we know that power is equal to current times voltage. So if the power stays the same, but the voltage increases, that means that the current must decrease. So increasing the number of coils on the secondary side leads to an increase in voltage and therefore a decrease in current. And so the correct answer would be D.